hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we will see how we can find the minimum and the maximum value sorry minimum and the maximum value for a particular column okay obviously we are talking about some integer columns right here since we want minimum and maximum values so let me run this code again it's the same code where we are just reading the data file okay the source data and then if you see here if you see all my columns are string right so if i try to perform some operations on this right it won't work the minimum and maximum right because these operations should be performed on integer values okay so I'll, I'll first show you like if i try to perform it what kind of error it will give me okay and then we'll resolve that issue so i'll take source data frame okay dot whenever we are performing some kind of a minimum and maximum operations right in pi spark sql basically use group by okay and let's say maximum and i will say maximum salary okay and or oh, we we already did many times salary let's, let's try to take something else let's say employee number i hope this is not okay even salary will work don't worry okay so um, let's say this is my maximum data frame or value not data frame i'll say value and i'll simply print it so if i try to run this code it should ideally give me error message because everything is a string here yeah so if you see here it's a not numeric column aggregation functions can only be applied on the numeric column so first of all we need to change or we need to cast this string into the integer right or the number so let's see how basically we can cast it so to cast it i'll use one select because we are, we are talking about one particular column okay let's say employee number and then we can simply use cast function where we are casting it in an integer okay and we'll store it again as a source data frame will not change it and i hope we are good let's run it yeah it worked so if you see here we got the maximum employee i think in the employee it's, i need to check which one is maximum so let, let's perform this on salary also let's see quickly okay let's run it mm, cannot give an input column employee number i'm giving salary then i'm selecting then nin, 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 nin. let's run it again and see where exactly we are facing the issues So salary S yes. A L A R Y. Why it is not allowing me? Hmm. Let me try with uh, some other column. Let's say sex ratio or something. It is saying oh, okay 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 i got it okay because we are using the source same source data frame we have uh, basically uh, you can say overrided the data so we need to change it and if i run this time it will work yeah so this is the maximum sex ratio let's try with the salary again and it should work the only thing is i have to rerun the code again because we are just okay if you don't want to rerun the code what you can do because it is overwriting the data okay so now we don't have to rewrite it again and again don't have to rerun basically okay so it will work for salary also yeah and if you change this time it will work for anything mm, let's say population i don't have to change it again and again or run it again and again so it worked 
is the maximum population so this is how basically you can use them you can find the maximum and in the same way you can use minimum function also so instead of maximum you can simply use minimum and run it it will give you the minimum right or let's say salary or something because we know salary we have in three digits somewhere yeah so this is the minimum value so this is how you can find the minimum and the maximum value from a column in the data frame thank you